Today we're in a different location than we usually are. Uh, we're in a town called San Mateo here in Costa Rica. And uh, yeah, so I got into a trade not too long ago. I've been in the trade for about a week. Um, I'm deep, deep in the red uh, with this trade. I actually got very uh, close to liquidation, but I'm hanging in there. I do believe that I'm actually going to still end up being profitable on this trade. I just gotta be extremely, extremely patient. It's not what I'm used to, right? I'm definitely a, an intraday trader. Uh, I'm usually in a trade for a couple hours, maybe even minutes, um, but rarely past the day. Sometimes I gotta sleep on a trade, right? Um, let it play out throughout the night, but this has been days on and on and at some point during this trade I was actually at the take profit level that I usually get to right? which is about like 10 to 15 percent profit um, I was actually at that level, but I didn't set my take profit Order now the reason that I didn't set the order is because I was actually at a party uh, this was a Saturday night and um, That same night is when the price actually reached uh, my take profit level um, actually woke up early that Saturday morning to check on my trade. I woke up at like five, six in the morning um, and I had gotten to, I had like arrived at my house at like four, four, seven in the morning. So I slept like two hours and I was waking up to look at the trade. I was actually in profit and it still looked like we were going to keep going up. So I said, all right, good. I'll go ahead and sleep on it and then take the profit when I later, later when I wake up. Right. I didn't set any orders. Right. And I had no stop loss or anything. I was just nice. And like, I think I was like nine or ten percent profit and i was aiming for about like 12 to 13 percent profit right so anyway so i'm in this trade everything's going good um and i fell asleep right and i said all right i'll take the profit when i wake up i wake up and the price eventually like where i saw it at was like here it ended up going up up, up a little bit more exactly how i expected it to and then it just started going down and down and down and when i actually woke up the second time i was at like six percent profit and it's still that we could, you know, come down a little, right, breathe and then keep going up. Ended up being a colossal, colossal dump. Like the price dropped like 11 percent or I don't know, not from my entry, but the price overall ended up dropping like 11 percent. Like it was just a nasty, nasty trade. Right. And I watched that trade. Just I just sat there and watched it go from what you know, from. 10% in profit, eventually got up to 12, 13, 15% profit. Didn't see that. And then I just sat there and watched it go down and down and down. It ended up being a point where it was over a hundred percent, like a hundred and like ended up being like a hundred and like five or hundred and six percent in the red. I don't even know how it's possible, right? Obviously, once you reach a hundred percent profit, you get liquidated, but it is what it is. I'll show you the pictures and the videos up uh, now I'm on my Binance account, but uh but yeah, guys, it was a nasty trade. And now what I want you guys is to learn from that mistake, right? Where is the lesson there? When you're in the red, like take your loss. You see what I mean? Because I traded for a whole month. As you guys, hopefully you guys watched that video uh, for a whole month. I made 100% growth on my trading account, right? Again, this money is completely relevant to me. It's just for practice. It's just practice trading. So that's why I was able to be in the headspace to where I could see the trade go down that low and be that near liquidation because I believe I was like dollars away, like 10, 20 bucks away from liquidation. Um, I was trading uh, Ethereum, right? Um, but yeah, so the lesson is once you're at that stop loss level, which is 5%, any trade for me that's above 10% in the red, um, that that's over my like limit per se, right? Like I should have taken that as a loss. Um, now there are plenty of trades that I have held down into even like 17% into the red and still ended up making 10 or 15% profit on the trade, right? There's a lot of trades that I can hold out, but this trade in particular, I had my entire account on this trade and I was dollars away from being liquidated, right? Now, again, keep in mind that this is not money that I need. This isn't, this is just practice money, okay? Imagine doing this with like money that you need to pay rent with or pay electricity or your bills with, right? That's why when you're trading, you need to dedicate a whole, at least a year to just practicing and learning the craft of trading. You can't jump into trading and expect to make a living from it because you're just going to completely ruin yourself, right? There's going to be a lot of losses. It's, it's all basically like a mental game, right? So how do you beat that mental game? You need to take emotions out of the equation completely. You need to be like a robot trading. Like imagine yourself as a trading bot. You don't trade based off of emotions. You trade based off of math, okay? Mathematics. Um, I don't usually trade like a conventional trader. I'm more of like a with the flow trader. I'll enter a trader and I know that the market's going to trend up. 
Um, I'll take my profit when I feel like taking my profit, and I'll set a, I'll, I'll cut the trade if I'm in a loss. I don't usually like set stop losses again unless I'm going to be away from my computer, or if there's a certain level that I know if we go past this, that's it, the, the trade is negated, right? Um, that's how I usually play it. I don't do it by like a set 1% or 2% or, or whatever, no. Um, I just get a feel for the market. Sometimes my stop losses are really deep in there, but um, I need that room for, for, for movement, right? Another great tip is to build your entries. Don't put all your account at one entry, like at one level and say, oh, that's right, we're going up from here, we're going from down from here. No, build your entries, you know, start with 10%, move that up to 20%, 30% of your account that you're putting into, you know, certain entry uh, level. So you never want to find yourself in this position when you're trading, again, especially if you're using your entire account and especially if you're, you know, if you need this money for your bills and for things in life, right? This is completely just money that I'm just playing around with, but I am taking it seriously in the sense that I am trying to learn how to trade, right? This was a lesson for me because I sat there and at every level, at, I'm down 5%, I'm down 10%, 15, 20%. Every time my mind would look at the charts and say, okay, this is the bottom, we're going out from here. I'd be down, uh, 15%. Okay, yeah, this this looks like this looks like the bottom. We're gonna start going up from here. I'm down 20%, 30%, 35%, 40%, all the way up to even where I'm at over a hundred percent in the red, and I'm my mind is still saying, yep, we're gonna go up from here. <laughs> like I need you guys to realize how this trading thing is gonna mess with your mind. You need to be mentally just like a rock, right? And I was pretty much mentally a rock in in, in this case, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't the way it should have been. I should have been like that in the sense of when I need to take my loss, I take my loss and cut it, uh, cut it, um, cut my trade. Right now, the crazy thing is that I still believe that I'm going to be profitable in this trade. Right? Watch my words. Just let it play out. <laughs> um, I'm still in the trade. Uh, again, I've been in the trade for days now. I think I'm pushing a week. Um, I haven't, I haven't even checked. But honestly, guys, the way to do it is you set your stop losses, you set your take profit levels, and that's it. Don't do not do what I did. Don't sit there and just watch the trade go into the red. And I've done that multiple times. That's the crazy part. It's happened more than once. Not this deep. Like, this is the first time I've ever been this deep, right? But I've had trades where I'm down like 17, 20, I think some even like 30 something percent. And I held through and ended up, I had some that I ended up coming up near my entry and ended up taking a smaller loss. Some that ended up turning into profit and then it doesn't matter. My point is, you don't want to find yourself in those positions, okay? The way to actually be profitable when you're trading is very simple, guys. Just always remember this. You want to add up the little wins on a consistent basis. Add up the little wins and just do not let your losses overpower all of your wins or knock out all of your wins or wipe away all of your wins, your account growth. That's the key small little incremental growths and then when you take a loss keep it nice and small don't let one loss wipe out two three or four profitable trades okay that is key right realize what just happened i had a i had a month october i had a hundred percent account growth i doubled my account over a hundred percent right and in like the first week of november i was up even more like i was i was at like 20 percent profit for the month of november um, like a week into it, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm like flying colors, everything, like fucking professional level trading, like extremely, extremely well trading, you know? It's like rare to see 100% account growth uh, in a month. And this is this wasn't luck or anything, like this is just trading, like actual like trading strategy, like doing the things that I should be doing when it comes to trading. And one single trade, guys, one single trade, one stupid trade, one huge loss, the, the trade that I'm in right now, right? Like, let's say I would have been liquidated. Let's say it would have reached that level. That's not only like the initial capital, which was originally like $160. I ended up growing the account to like 400 something dollars, right? I would have been at zero, at zero from one trade. All of the headache, all of the overnight trades, all of the sitting there, all of the time that I invested into trading the entire month of October, which was a lot. I'm really dedicated to this at the, at the point where I'm at right, right now in my life. All of that work would have gone to dust, zero, in one damn trade. Guys, realize the power of one trade. Like, like it can completely wipe your entire account, all right? So how do you avoid that? By sticking to those small losses and never be over, you know, 
10, 15, 20 percent in the red because that's just it's not proper trading. It's it's just gambling at that point. You're hoping for a for a save there. All right. But use my experience as a lesson. Um, I forgot the saying. I'm going to butcher this, but like knowledgeable people learn from their mistakes. But wise people learn from mistakes from the mistakes of others. Um, I don't know. Again, I butchered that. I'm not sure. But anyways, take my experience as a lesson. Guys, if you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, you can be 100% in the red as well alongside me. I'm just playing. Um, if you guys want one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, you can sign up through the Patreon link in the description below. Guys, please drop a like on the video. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel with your post notifications turned on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.